Hey guys, what's up? It's Mystic, and as you can see, I got a layout here, and I pretty much failed at it, but at least I gave it a shot. I just have to keep on watching more videos to see how I do it right. But anyways, got a battle here against Hugo from the Smoke On Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and uh, it's a RU match, so yeah, we're gonna get into it. <coughs> so um, he's gonna lead off with Quillfish, and I am gonna lead off with my Crustle, and. Since Cross is my lead, you already know stealth rocks and whatnot. But he's gonna get the intimidate off. So he already knows the stealth rocks coming, so he's gonna go for the taunt and whatnot. So um yeah, that pretty much fails. And he's just gonna go for his toxic spikes, setting up his hazards. And well not too bad I don't have a spin blocker on this team because I mean not a spin blocker but a rapid spinner, so I'm not gonna be able to get rid of those hazards. But anyways, <coughs> I'm gonna get send out my three my magneton nicknamed three tons because it's you know three magnets and it weighs a ton I'm just kidding that's crazy but anyways he's gonna switch out predicting me to go for an electric type move but I actually predict that and go for the HP ground now you wonder why I have HP ground because most magnetons might carry HP fire or ice but ground I have ground because those, you know, just like that, the switching to the Rhydon, and if I had Hidden Power Fire, it would have been very effective, but, yeah, so, after that, I just go for a Flash Cannon and kill it off, <coughs> and besides, I got the Signal Beam for the Grass type, so, I'm not even tripping, bro, so he brings in a big threat, which is Entei, so I'm gonna have to switch up out of there, because I'm not gonna want to take a Flare Blitz to the face, it's gonna be a one-hit KO, obviously, so I'm gonna switch into my Defensive Wall, which is my Crustle, and he goes for a flare blitz and I'm like ho oh, and then judging by this damage right here here he does about like he does over half and I'm like shit he's probably choice banded so I mean luckily I take the hit well so I say uh, say I'm probably not gonna survive the next hit so I'm hoping right here he gets low damage and so that I can uh you know go for this surprise move on him that he probably didn't even know about and yes he doesn't kill me and I guess he didn't see, he probably didn't see the counter coming. So, yeah, counter. So, yeah, he faints. And I'm going to faint due to the poison damage. And because of the amount of HP I'm at, I'm just going to die to poison damage. But if that was our two last Pokemon, I would have broke self KO claws and he would have won. But it's a good thing that he's not. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. But right now he's gonna send out his Roselia and I'm gonna send out my Golur which is named Golightly cause you know I got that heavy Golightly insurance that that max attack and that no I don't have max HP but I do have a lot of HP investments but I think I did add some speed as well so you know but anyway he's gonna go for the spikes and I don't care I'm just gonna launch off the uh Earthquake because I'm max attack and whatnot, and I know for sure it's gonna take it out. <coughs> oh, excuse me, but yeah. And then he's gonna go bring in this Quillfish and get an Intimidate drop to lower my attack, but I don't give a fuck because I know the next Earth, this Earthquake, is, even at minus one, this Earthquake can still kill the Quillfish. So I'm not even worried, bro. So yeah, that's one dead Quillfish right there. So I think at this point I'm 5 2 or. 5-3 I think I'm 5 yeah 5-2 now this goddamn uh mandibles gave me such a problem and shit my goodness so right here you know I guess it goes for what time does it go for the time yes it goes for the time predicting me to go for a substitute but I actually predict that and switch out into my manetri there's just Choice Scarf with Electro Ball, which should do a shit ton of damage. And right here, I was like, holy shit. By all the damage it did, I thought it should have killed it, you know. Because Electro Ball, you know, the higher speed you have than your opponent, then the more damage it does. But I'm guessing that he's special defensive, so it's like, fuck. So right here, he well wins me out. And then he's just going to switch in, then I'm... I get whirlwind out to my magnet. Damn, you're doing such a bad narration, but it's alright. 
But he's gonna go off for the roost since he's faster than me, which sucks, but it's whatever. So since he goes for a roost, I'm just gonna go right for the ball switch. I should have sped this up a little bit more, but it's alright. So yeah, I go for the ball switch and I switch back out into Manetric, which is nicknamed Spectric, but it's not really Specs, it's Choice Scarf. So yeah. Maybe if it was Specs, it probably would have did more damage, but I'm not sure. Cause <coughs> Yeah, Electric Ball is a special attack, but I just got the Choice Scarf for the speed, but it's whatever. But yeah, since I'm at 5 0. Anyway, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. I'm at not I'm really not 5 0, but I'm 5 2. I'm just gonna tell you this right now. It all all of that I did is gonna come back to bite me in the ass and you'll see why. Of course he's got a Manda Buzz and he's gonna whirlwind me out and stuff since he has a whole bunch of hazards and whatnot, but you'll see you'll see later in the video. But um yeah. So I go for another Electro ball and I think that's like my third or fourth one and this thing would just not die fuck fucking manda buzz but uh, What can I do about that bulky ass bird? I had a plan at first, but I was like it's not gonna work Or it didn't work because you know he were winning me out but oh well Predictable matches are predictable Or you have to make them predictable. I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. I'm, I'm just tired of shit. It's like after 10 o'clock in the morning, I haven't been asleep yet, and I got school at 6 p.m. And shit, you know, I was up all day yesterday doing my projects and stuff that I have to turn in for the day because today's the last day of school. And then I have time to do whatever I want. <clears throat> but yeah. So he finally gets all his HP after roosting up the damage and stuff. And right here I thought I was going to die by the toxic damage. But I live with one. Able to get another electro ball off. But it's not going to matter because he's just going to roost off that damage. Since he knows that I'm going to faint. Turn. But unfortunately he decides to whirlwind me out for some reason. I'm just like why? You could have just. Let me. You could just roost off and let me die by the toxic damage. And be at full HP. But since he brought my magneton in, it's gonna get back at full HP anyways. But right here, I just go for a signal launch a random, a, a random signal beam. God damn, a random signal beam. And of course, since the roost turns into a dark type now, it's super effective. And I thought, like, I asked him, Was that a critical hit? And he didn't ask my question, but I like. But now I see the video, I was like, yeah, it is. I'm like, damn. Because I thought, thought that, that wasn't a critical hit. Because if it wasn't, and he went for a roost again. Hmm, nah, he wouldn't have been dead. But, um, yeah, he's just going to go for a whirlwind right here. And, um, fuck. He sends me back into my Manetric. We're just going to die to the poison damage next turn. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much all in vain. Right at this point, I just said it's over. But I wouldn't know for sure. But, anyways, I'm going to send out Agron. Now, here was my plan right here to go for a freaking rock pile just in case if he had a scarfer, which he does. But he was running me out, like I said, because I was going to finish it off with a head smash and whatnot. But. He were winning me out, so that's too bad on my part. And right here, do I do I go for the do I switch out or go for the unprotected focus punch? I yeah, I go for the unprotected focus punch, thinking he's gonna go for a roost, but doesn't he just go straight for the brave bird, predicting that, which is a good prediction, cause I I'm pretty sure if we went for a roost, I think I would have did a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure it would have been enough to kill it, but. You know, because I got Iron Fist and whatnot, but still, and Max Attack, but still, that thing is bulky as shit. So I go for another one, because it's pointless for whatever I do. I believe I'm slower, I think. 
but he's just gonna go for another Bray Bird and finish me off. So, what's the score? Three two now. Yeah. Now this this is where it all comes to bite me in the ass. So, I'm gonna send out Magneton, and of course you already know nothing's gonna work at this point. I go for another Signal Beam just to get the confusion, and I don't get it. Axie ass game. But he's just gonna whirlwind me out anyways into my frown game. And I was just like, that's it, you know what? I'm just for to go for the ice punch to kill it off. And I thought of right here, I thought about going for a dragon dance before doing that. But then he might have would have just whirlwind me off, so I just went straight for the ice punch. So yeah. So I just wanted to go for the ice punch and kill that thing because it was getting on my nerves. But <coughs> I guess either way, if you went for Whirlwind, it was going to come back to bite me in the ass because he sent out his last Pokemon, which is a Meta Champ, and it's Scarfed. And he locks himself into High Jump Kick because my last two Pokemon are still. And they cannot take the hit, High Jump Kick. So I was like, oh, the only way I'm going to miss, I mean, the only way I'm going to win is if he misses High Jump Kick. So, right here out of the blue, on this time, I just went for a rock polish, hoping that he would miss, but no, he doesn't miss it. So, I was like, fuck. That would have been half of his HP right there, and I could have rock polish. I might have outsped him, too, after the rock polish, and then just iron head his ass to death. But, unfortunately, no. He knocks out my aggro, and then in comes my magneton. He knocks that out with a high jump kick. Now, I never expected to be a scarf meta champ. So that's a pretty good moveset. So that's a good game, Hugo. Had fun with that battle. It was a pretty good match. And uh, guys, hope to see you later. And um, deuces.